So I don't know about you, but networking is a big uh, piece of the way that I promote and market my business. And I know that a lot of you use networking and networking events and shaking hands and kissing babies, all that networking, that personal stuff, uh, to be sure that uh, you can keep your name out there. And right now, it's really hard because a lot of those networking uh, events have gone online or they, uh, they're not happening at all. And maybe you're having a tough time because uh, you're used to being able to network with not only your clients, but your colleagues and other people in the industry. Uh, hi, it's Bill. It's Creative License, and thanks again for being a part of everything, and thank you for being nice to my sponsors like Electra Voice, Promo Only, DJ Event Planner, DJ NTV, and of course my workshop, The Entertainment Experience. You want to know more about that, just ask me personally. I'll tell you everything you want to know. Um, so people are stuck. Guys are saying, I, I can't network. I mean, I, I can't figure out this online thing. I don't know what's going to go happen. All of my business mostly comes from word of mouth and networking. What am I going to do? All these groups and things that I do are... Uh, well, first of all, while all this is happening, it's easy to go, you know, life is over. It's not the same. It's a... Uh, yeah, okay, I get that. I kind of felt sorry for myself for a little while as well. A pity party is something that uh, uh, a lot of us kind of get into. But there are lots of ways that you can continue to network. It's just that because there's not groups of people getting together, you need to put your best foot forward. You need to reach out to your past clients and just say hi. You need to reach out to your the colleagues and photographers and videographers and caterers and the, and the colleagues that you work with and say hi. They, believe it or not, they're in the same boat as you. And they're sitting at their house with their family by themselves. And they would love to hear from you. Even if it's just, hey, how's it going? which is really the best kind of networking anyway, instead of, hey, how's it going? Why can't you send me some work? Don't do that. Just reach out to people. Use the phone the way the phone was meant to be used. Don't text people. Call them, right? Ask them if they want to have a video chat. Just you and them. Um, and reach out to, if, you, if there's not a networking group online, uh, not a Zoom networking group that's happening regularly in your neck of the woods, why don't you start one? It's not that hard. Okay, and the Zoom, uh, uh, you, can, you can do it for free, but honestly, it's not that much money a month to get uh, a professional Zoom account and then be able to bring in as many people as you want and have as long a meeting as you want. And then when you become the person who creates the meeting, you now get some more clout now, don't you? Because you created it, you built it. Uh, they're going to think more of you. They're going to think about you first. So put your foot forward. Don't wait for somebody else to create a networking opportunity. Networking is just communication. It's just caring about people enough to call them up and say, hey, what's up? And right now, if there's anything that the world needs right now, is more people reaching out and saying, what's up? I love getting phone calls and I don't get enough. And when I hear from somebody I haven't talked to in a while, I'm like thrilled, especially right now. I mean, honestly, I'm, <laughs> I'm stuck in my house with my two teenage daughters and my wife, and they don't want me around. <laughs> so what am I talking about every day other than clean your room, pick up the kitchen, what do you want for dinner? Give me a chance to feel like a regular person and call me. That thrills me. The photographers and colleagues and the other vendors that you work with, including the DJs, you should be doing this with DJs too, will be thrilled to hear from you, putting you in the best light of the guy who's on top of something that a lot of people are still kind of sitting in going, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Don't be that person. Be the first person who says, this is what I'm going to do. And then there's your networking. And more than likely, that networking will probably bring you more than when you go to networking groups and have a luncheon. That's just what I think. Anyway, what do you think? Write your comments below. Tell me what you think. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, I'd love to hear your ideas. This is Bill, this is Creative License, and I'll see you next time. Bye.